There are many chemical reactions that occur when we cook and process food. In this video, we will be learning more about two chemical reactions, fermentation and caramelization. In addition to the Maillard reaction, caramelization is another type of reaction that results in the browning of sugar. We can see this occurring when we heat marshmallows over a flame and when we make caramel. Caramelization of sugar can occur when a mixture of sugar and water is heated. The sugar breaks down to form new products, which is the brown substance that we observe. To prevent the caramel formed from breaking down further, the caramelization reaction has to be stopped. This can be done by cooling the caramel. Fermentation is another chemical reaction that is widely used in the processing of food. It is used in the production of bread, cheese, yogurt, and soy sauce. Microbes like mold and bacteria are essential in the fermentation process. During fermentation, microbes break down substances like sugar to form new products. In the production of traditional soy sauce, a type of mold is mixed with soybeans and flour to encourage fermentation. The mold first converts the starch in the soybean mixture to sugar. Then, the sugar is fermented to form acids. The mold also breaks down proteins in the soybean into amino acids. These acids result in soy sauce's distinct taste. Naturally fermented soy sauce can take months to age and requires careful monitoring of temperature, pH, and salinity levels. When preparing bread, yeast, a type of microbe, breaks down substances in dough to produce carbon dioxide gas. Bubbles of carbon dioxide gas get trapped in the bread dough, causing it to rise. This gives bread its fluffy texture. We can adjust the amount of yeast and starting ingredients to produce bread of a variety of textures. Bread is usually made with flour and yeast. However, it can also be made by adding baking powder instead of yeast to the mixture. Baking powder contains a carbonate and an acid that react when mixed with other ingredients or when heated, producing carbon dioxide gas. However, baking powder will not make the bread rise as much as yeast. Understanding the chemical reactions that occur during the cooking and processing of food helps us appreciate the complexity of food and beverages. This allows us to create and enjoy new and improved flavors. Try observing these chemical reactions in your kitchen the next time and see how many you can identify.